All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one here, I don't really have a direct title yet to name it, but I just want to touch on the subject of, uh, you know, should you keep the commandments or believe in Yahweh Shai? Should you keep the commandments or believe in Yahweh Shai? You must do both. Why I say this is because uh, Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul was a light, you know, sent forth to the Gentiles. Now, who are the Gentiles Apostle Paul went to? The Israelite foreigners, okay? Apostle Paul went to the Israelite foreigners, which were Israelites who took on the customs and the ways of the heathens, okay? They didn't take on the customs of being the Israelites, all right? They took on the customs and the ways of the heathens, meaning, you know, being a Greek, they took on the language, they took on the attire, the clothes, they didn't circumcise their children, their sons, I should say, you know, the men wasn't circumcised and so on. They worship false gods, you know, the Greek gods, you know, they was Hellenized, all right? So, Apostle Paul went to these Israelite foreigners, and it was those men, certain men of them, that believed. And how did they believe? They believed in Yahweh Shai, all right? It wasn't about them keeping the laws. Now, when you believe in Yahweh Shai sincerely, wholeheartedly, what happens? You're going to keep the laws. So, even Yahweh Shai knew that even in this day and age, today, in these last days, okay, that we were going to become Gentiles, just as well as Paul going unto the Gentiles to teach them of Yahweh Shai and to give them this gospel, of which gospel means good news, all right, that look, they were going to be grafted back in, all right? So we became Gentiles, all right? Gentiles in the frame of mind. Not in the seed, but in the frame of mind. But once the Lord awoken us back up, then what? We're no longer Gentiles. All right. And now we rehearse the righteous acts. We keep the laws to the best of our abilities. Okay. Remember, we're in sinful flesh. And Yahweh Shai came in sinful flesh. The same flesh we in now, this flesh. Okay. But guess what? Yahweh Shai did not sin. You know, for those that could receive it, he sinned when he was what? Solomon. All right. And I must say this too, the Lord sent back Elijah, okay, to start this thing back off to fulfill prophecy. Everything is done through time and season and purpose under the heaven through prophecy. And Elijah came, which we believe is Ivan Bivens. And guess what? Now we're all, you know, uh, uh, woken. Let's say the whole four elect is, is woken back up to the Lord's elect. You know, more and more of the Lord's elect is being awoken every day because the Lord have already set that stem. He's already set light or he watered that stem, that tree for it to grow. And right now you are seeing that tree grow throughout the world, which is the Lord's elect. All right. So anyway, you know, the point is, should you just believe in Yahweh Shai and then do whatever you want? Or should you keep the laws of the most high and don't believe in Yahweh Shai? Now, why I even, you know, came up with this, this little subject is because brother sent me the video of the guy who uh basically the demon of the week all right the demon of the week you know basically saying that you know we're stupid for believing in spiritual powers um we need to come up out of that we need to stop waiting on a man to crack the skies but let me tell you something you know he said in one of his videos his response videos from after being rebuked by the prophets all right that you know he keep all the commandments all right and he, he fasts every day. Well, let me tell you something. You know, you can keep the commandments and fast every day. You can fast until you blue in the face, until you starve yourself to death. But guess what? If you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you ain't making it, man. Yahweh Shai is the media man, the, the, the middle between us and the Father. The Heavenly Father is not even dealing with us. It's Yahweh Shai. All right? So, you know, you know, I just wanted to say all that, slack you for. You know a lot of talking i just wanted to set the base to the video all right so let's read this is romans 8 matter of fact before i get romans 8 i want to read baruch the fourth four and one because i don't want anybody thinking you know that you're not supposed to keep the laws 
All right. There's a balance, a fine balance in this truth. You know, if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you sincerely going to keep the laws. You're going to keep the ordinance. You're going to rehearse the holy days. You're going to do what it is required of you to do. All right. Which is your reasonable service. All right. Being an Israelite. Brute form one. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All that all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay, so we hear we see here Baruch form one that the law that endure forever. The Heavenly Father laws endure forever. Even now. Alright, what are two thirds gonna be judged off of? Breaking the Lord's laws. The things they done in their past life and the things they doing in this life. You know, the laws were given to Moses to give to us, Israelites, so that we could become what? Holy, man. Holy means to what? Be separate. We're separate from the other nations. That's what makes us holy. All right? A holy people unto the Most High, unto Yahweh. You know? So when we wake up to this truth, you want to, of course, believe in Yahweh Shai and learn the teachings and learn the prophecies and learns the things you need to know you know waking up to your inheritance but then you keep the laws because the laws are here to govern our flesh that's what the laws are here to govern our flesh so that we don't be uh uh just wild animals man all right we don't be as the heathens are all right and that and guess what two-thirds of the lord's people they're heathens to the lord right now they're still in that gentile frame of mind this nigga all right this self-made nigga Okay, you know, and I would say he a bastard, you know, and I'm saying these things because, you know, because guys like him, they don't have a spirit. They don't have spiritual fathers. All right. They don't have uh, teachers and, and spiritual fathers to reverence, you know, because they, they self-made, you know, they watch the brothers. They learn different. They watch different camps. They watch brothers. They learn precepts. And then they, 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 they call themselves being this teacher now. You know, when they take a little bit from him and him and him, you know, and they're not really brought up right. And then when you ask them where they get this from, they too too prideful to tell you what group they got the doctrine from. So they're bastards. All right. So anyway, uh, let's go back. This is I'm going to read Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. So, yes, you got to keep the law. Keep the laws to the best of your ability. Keep the Sabbath holy. All right. Rehearse the holy days, you know. The law, statutes, and commandments, all right, is a must. You can't be an adulterer running around here claiming Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad and you popping off some other man's wife, okay? You got to keep the laws, but believe in Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is the one that's going to deliver us, you know? So you can keep all the laws you want, but if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you're not getting delivered. He is the deliverer. How can you not believe in the one that's come to deliver you? That's crazy, man, you know? But anyway... Let's get back. Romans 8 and 1. You know, and I ain't gonna make this too long. I got uh Salakia. So Alright, this is Romans 8 and verse 1. It says, There is therefore now there is therefore now no con no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahawashai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Alright? So if you believe in Yahawashai, you know, you gotta understand this too, man. You know, the Lord is, is very merciful. You know, here you are waking up in, in, this, in this truth today. And you was in the world. You believed in Jesus Christ. You believed in that, you know, Cesare Borgia. You worshiped these pagan holidays. But then when you woke up to this truth, didn't you need time to repent? Didn't you need time to, to, to clean up yourself? Didn't you still have old habit and demons that you needed to get rid of, but you believed in Yahweh Shai and his truth? So how much more those Gentiles? Back in the time with uh, Paul, Paul went to. They believed, man. All right, and they were and they were what accepted back in through Yahweh Shai. Okay, they were grafted back in. But of course, as the months and days and years go by, you're gonna keep the laws. All right. The point is, you gotta believe, man, in Yahweh Shai. It says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Because they walk after the believing in the spirit of the Lord. You know, it's all about the sincere spirit. The scriptures, the Lord said he looks within the inward part of man. Okay? Being sincere. All right? Uh, Yahweh Shai, 
I think he, yeah, I believe he spoke about how even um, a prostitute, a woman, right? She, she's a prostitute, right? She would make it in before one of these women, these prostitutes today, that that really, you know, is no shame in a game or whatever. At least she's honest and being a prostitute than being a devilish demon ass woman that claim to be holy, but she's really not. She's really the damn devil. A prostitute would make it in before one of these women out here that claim that they're not hoes, all right, lying, conniving, you know, sneaking off in the middle of the night, in the, in the morning, you know, to do such wicked acts. But then you got a prostitute that sit on the corner and, 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 and um, you know, sells her body, but she's, at least she's doing it honestly, man. So that's why when Yahweh Shai, I believe Yahweh Shai said that, I know it's in the scriptures, I could just look it up, Salakia, but, you know, that's why you got to understand why a prostitute would make it in before a, a woman who's a liar, you know, who's deceiving you uh, outwardly. Outwardly, she's deceiving you as she's this person, but inwardly, she's not. All right. So it's about sincerity. So anyway, it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach Yahawashai have made me free from the law of sin and death. All right. Believing in Yahawashai is going to get you delivered. All right. If you of the elect and you believe in Yahawashai, all right, then guess what? That take away your sins, man. Now, are you to just believe in Yahawashai and just do all types of sins? Then you a nigga. Hey, the Lord going to splew you out. Matter of fact, you were never his. Because you got a lot of men that's like that, man. That's why my humble advice to you newly fruit, few women that watch, get the hell off social media and stop following self-made niggas. Stop being a part of that, you know, and just watch and just learn the truth. All right. From Great Millstone. I have to say that. All right. It says for the law of the spirit of life and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai have made me free from the law of sin and death. All right. It was Yahweh Shai who came and defeated death for us. He came in the sinful flesh. He didn't sin as Yahweh Shai. OK. And he conquered death. He came back the third day. All right. He made he made it be known and possible that we could do it, too. All right. Once we wake up to this truth. Yeah, we all fall short of the glory of the Most High. You're going to go off. But it's about the sincerity of your heart, man. All right? Continuing to keep pushing. Um, Second Edger 16 talks about in the, the last few verses of the sec Second Edger 16, say, it says, don't let your sins weigh you down. Matter of fact, I get after this. Uh, Romans 8 and 3. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, Yahweh sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So it's all about walking in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. When any man starts their conversation off, yo, this is carnal, I'm speaking fleshly, then guess what? That ain't of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And especially if he starts speaking you know, as if he's the Messiah saying that he is the God spirit, the heavenly father spirit. The Lord ain't dealing with your wicked ass, man. You know? For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So you got two different kind of men, two different kind of Israelites. You got some Israelites that are after the flesh and you got some Israelites that are the Israelites that are after the spirit. All right. What do you want to be a? Is the flesh or the spirit all right for the carnally minded is death but the spiritually minded is life and peace okay so being carnal paul says here what carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace all right and that's why wisdom can't dwell in, in a malicious soul man you know when certain niggas because they're wicked their deeds are wicked man all right, they may say good things out of their mouth, but their deeds are wicked. All right, and the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. It says, because the carnally minded is enmity against the Most High, meaning carnally minded men is enemies against Yahweh. So how can you say that you, the, Lord, the Heavenly Father is dealing with you when here it is, you don't even believe in his son? Niggas are crazy, man. Stay off them psychedelics, man. Niggas is crazy. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you, 
Now, if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach, he is none of his. There it is, man. If you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, then you ain't none of the Most High's, man. All right? You're a Gentile. You're going to be destroyed on this side, man. And then in the kingdom, you'll be all right. But on this side, you're going to die. As the scriptures say, they must know it after death by pain. All right? And, uh, you know, that's basically it. I don't have too much memory. I hope this lesson was edifying. I tried to erase enough videos, but I got to load up some videos. So, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.